Hello, this is Lolly. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I have a new tool I want to talk about, the We Are Memory Keepers Reflection Tracer. This is how it comes in the package, and what it is, it's two pieces of plastic in this nice little felt case, and they enable you to view something on the left-hand side that you can therefore copy into the right-hand side by looking through the little reflector. Easily trace any image straight from your phone. Now, you don't have to use it on the phone. You can put it on any tablet device or anything bright. Uh, but there's also something else you can do with it, which I will show you soon. So it shows this person is using an image of a llama. Yay! <laughs> this was made for me, wasn't it? <laughs> and transferring it over there. Okay, so let's open it up. I love the little wool felt. And those of you who are into vinyling, guess what you could do with this case? You could vinyl your own design on there. Wouldn't that be cute? Personalize it. Go put Lali Lama on there. Okay, so you have two pieces of plastic. This one has these two little notches in there. And then this clear acrylic, which doesn't have any specific right or wrong side. You just snap it down into place. It's very easy. And then you put your journal or whatever paper you're going to write on on the right hand side. If it's just a piece of paper, I do recommend putting this on top of the paper to kind of hold it down. There are some rubbery grips on the four corners here, so hopefully it won't be sliding around for you. Now, um, this might be difficult to see. Let's see if I can do it this way. Okay, so what you want to do is take your phone, and I increased my brightness on this. Now, on Instagram, if you're on there, we are Journal Reflector, is the Memory Keeper's um, image reflector um, site here. And so you can pick any image that you see here uh, I think so this video is not too long. I could make it a little easier like this. See, now, uh, if we can get the camera, let's see if we can do it this way. Can you, uh, I really can't see too well. There we go, right there. I know it's picking up on the camera. See, I can see it really well. What I'm doing is I'm looking down through here onto the paper, and what I'm seeing is this image. But because you're on, you know, we're, we're doing a, uh, I'm filming with a camera, looking down at a camera. The technology doesn't make it really perfect. So the other thing you want to do before you do this, increase your brightness and also change the sleep time so it, your camera doesn't go to, your phone doesn't go to sleep within 30 seconds. So what I'm doing is I am tracing what I am seeing through this plastic screen here. And for those of you who always wanted to be able to draw but didn't feel like you could, this is a great little tool. And we'll discuss some other applications that I have been thinking about. Okay, so that's my version of an airplane. Let's see if you can see that. Let's move this out of the way. Right there. Okay, so I drew that by looking through here. Now I would recommend a pencil, but I was doing pens so that you could see what I was doing. So another thing that they have, which I think is really interesting here, let's just rotate this around, is that they have some words that are backwards. So that, let's say you want to be able to draw and write nicely. Okay, it's kind of like the brush script font right there. So they have the words backwards I should probably zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so they have these the scripts backwards so that when you trace it, you're coming out with uh, the correct um, presentation of the word. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see what the words are, words and phrases. So I don't know how often they'll be adding illustrations to this, but the other thing you can always do is go online and search line illustrations or uh, line drawings of, let's say you want to draw a, a beach ball, line illustration of a beach ball, and you can use that uh, on your phone to trace it into here, okay? Um, the other thing is you don't necessarily have to use a tablet. Um, put this piece of paper there. Now let's see if you could see, let's flip this over. So we have a blank piece of paper. Let's see if you could see that grid mark can you see the grids right here? Maybe I'm out too far. There we go. I'm trying to tilt it just a little bit. And it helps to have a really dark grid. Now see, I know I can see it beautifully 
I'm sure you probably can't on the screen and I can't really tell from looking at my camera. So one of the things that's nice about this is, again, you don't have a device on, you don't have a tablet on, but now I have this beautiful grid paper here and I can line the paper on the right, I can line it up to the grid pattern that I see and I can start draw, writing neatly. Uh, let's see. Um, Okay, so I was using the image of this projected onto my right hand paper to be able to write in a straight line. I could also line up everything on the left hand side with a great margin without worrying. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't writing uphill. I wasn't starting to indent every line accidentally. And I just wrote what was on my head, uh, Lollipalooza. And then I wrote, crafting is always a great idea. Time with friends is always a great idea. Crafting with friends is an exceptional idea. So it's a great, a great idea. It's wonderful to be able to have a way to write in a straight line on all those blank um, papers that you have. What about greeting cards? You make someone a greeting card and you want to write a nice sentiment on the inside of the card and you don't have any lines because it's always blank and unlined on the inside of a card. So I think this is wonderful for being able to do that. Also, if... Like we were talking about drawing images, what if maybe you could draw an airplane, but for some reason you needed to have three identic identical um, duplicate airplanes. They need to all look the same. That's another benefit of this is that you can be able to manufacture or reproduce the same image over and over and over again perfectly. Or if you drew an image, you know, make sure it's a nice dark line. If you drew your own image, you can put this over here and keep reproducing it on the right hand side yourself. So it, it doesn't have to be an image you find online. It could be an image that you did, but you need to replicate that. So there's another option for this. It doesn't always have to be a screen, a tablet, a phone. So you can use papers. Now where I got this from with the really dark lines is a website called Incompetech. And I will give you the link to this website. It's wonderful. You can print out graph paper, grid paper, dot paper, all sorts of papers. You can do for bullet journaling and whatever style of bullet journaling you have, the boxes, and you can you can um, print all those out. So um, I will give you the link to that website. And I, what I did for this one, I chose the graph paper. I did it as 1.4 per inch and black lines because I wanted them to be really bold. I don't, you know, you don't have to go with the one point, the thickness of the line, but I think it really helps to project that right here. And I'll just show you right now. I'm going to turn this sideways a little bit. Let's do it this way. I just want to show you that I, of course, I, I have shaky hands, so this is not really a fair test. I just want to show you what I'm seeing in this other side here. So I could essentially draw my boxes and lines. Um, that's what I'm seeing on the other side. Let's turn this over and say I have a journal, a bullet journal. Whoops, this is shaking here. Okay, again, not very great. I'm doing this for video. So here's an idea too. So you can do this just by having graph paper here and you can make this, the size of these boxes smaller, totally up to you. I think this is going to be a delightful tool to own. And I was thinking I would probably save this. I, you know, this is felt, it's not going to scratch, but just to make sure that um, I take care of it, fold that over, put this back in there. It's just the two pieces and it travels really easily. So if you have a notebook, I mean, a uh, like a journal, um, bag that you store all your journaling supplies in. This is a great way to tote that around. And if you do uh, vinyling or if you hand sew appliques, that would be a really cute way to decorate this or even just a strip of lace across here to make it your own. Love it, love it, love it. I'll give you the link to purchasing one of these down below and also the link to making your own graph paper. It's a cinch. Thank you so much for watching.